We're now joined by Edwin Reyes, who's the principal of a terrific school in the city of Newark, a technology high school, a 2023 Blue Ribbon School Award winner. Good to see you, Principal Reyes. Good to be here, Steve. Thanks for having me. You got to let everyone know what, why the Blue Ribbon Award is so significant. Oh, I call it almost the equivalent of a an Emmy or those types of awards. It is probably the pinnacle for any school. Um, and I do say school because it's not an award that's won by one person. Um, it's extremely, extremely special. And I'm extremely grateful to the hard work and dedication of our entire school community, our teachers, our parents, and uh, obviously, more importantly, our wonderful students. Well said. We're going to put up a graphic uh, for our series, Who Will Teach Our Children? Uh, as you talk about your teachers, what makes the teaching slash learning experience at Technology High so special? Please. Yeah, so, um, so it really is simple, right? People kind of overcomplicate this. Um, our motto is if you take care of a student's social and emotional well-being first, then everything else just falls into place. Um, it is truly a student-centered, student-first type of school where we make sure that we provide everything that students need in order to be successful. But beyond that, we take care of them and we make them our own. And so my agreement with parents when they come to our school is that when you drop them off at the doorstep, um, they become my child. And thus, that's the way we treat them and we ensure that all our staff member, everyone who works here, understands that philosophy. So you've actually said our teachers become their parents. And maybe there are people who may bristle at that. What do you mean? You're not their parent. I'm their parent. But tell folks what that really means. Yeah, so my parents don't bristle at it at all. They, they know that the students are being sent to a community of people who just care about them left and right. We have great partnerships with our parents. What it means is that we're going to provide the same love, attention, and honestly, education that we would for our very own children. And, um, and that partnership works really well with our parents. They know that they're sending their child to a school where their child becomes the center of everything that we do. And they're very grateful for that. Ms. Boris, let me ask you, the, the learning loss, the impact of COVID vis-a-vis -vis learning loss. First, what have our students lost in terms of uh, their learning? And then what have they lost in your view from a social and emotional perspective, please? I mean, they, they, they've lost a lot. I, I think we're starting to come around now. I think we're starting to leave COVID behind. Um, I try not to even use the word around here because I think it really is time for us to move on. However, um, it has impacted our students, um, you know, socially and emotionally. We have more students coming with problems to the school, um, more um, meetings with social workers and with guidance counselors regarding just their emotional um, state. Same thing goes for teachers, right? So teachers are human beings too. I know a lot of people don't believe that. Um, but us in education, um, you know, we have emotional uh, instability sometime. And I think COVID did a lot to do that. However, I do see it, right? I do see us getting over the hump. Um, I think our school is almost to the point where we were prior to COVID. And I think, and I hope that that's what's going to start to happen across this, this entire country. You know, there've been a lot of reports about this, uh, Mr. Reyes, that make it clear that there's a teaching or teacher shortage. And in the city of Newark, it, it's no different. In fact, it may be more, it may be worse because the needs of our students are so great in our inner cities. Are you seeing more teachers leave the profession? And if so, what the heck are we doing to keep the teacher pipeline um, as healthy as it needs to be? Please share with us your thoughts. Sure, and, and that's that's probably one of the biggest impacts of COVID. Um, you know, a lot of teachers spent a lot of time at home behind the camera, um, and they understood that they could actually make a living working from home. Or because there's a shortage of teachers, there's been this competition between districts for hiring teachers away from other districts, which kind of becomes a problem. 
Um, I, I think that we have to make teaching appealing again to, to young kids that are sitting in a college classroom at this particular time. Um, and you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, right? The way we do that is by making sure that they are supported, um, but more importantly, that they're paid like the professionals that they are, right? So increasing pay for teachers is something that I advocate for. Um, our district has done a good job of raising the starting salary when our superintendent found out uh, that we were having these shortages. Uh, he actually raised the teacher salary for a starting teacher and gave out bonuses to, to especially uh, to teachers in math and science, which are hard to fill subjects. Um, but again, it's, it's giving them the support that they need when they come out, kind of making it an appealing job as opposed to going somewhere else. Let me share this in the time we have left, uh, that the Newark Public Schools have been a longtime partner of ours for a series we had over 20 years, our Stand and Deliver program that uh, the Principal Reyes knows well, where we taught uh, our mentors and teachers, our workshop leaders would teach and coach public communication skills, leadership skills. So let me disclose that. And also my final question to you is you're a big um, advocate of student leadership and students making mistakes to learn. Why? It's the only way to learn, right? So we've instituted some policies here in the school that allow students to make mistakes. So for example, we were one of the first schools to, to allow students to retake an exam, right? So um, what we said was, it's okay for you to make a mistake, but then what do you do afterwards? And if we just give them a grade and let them go, um, then they don't come back and they don't want to learn. Student leadership is huge, right? So this is where students get the opportunity to learn the skills that they need to become effective leaders, to communicate with other people, and to work effectively with people who they may not necessarily agree with all the time. That's Edwin Reyes, who's the principal of a terrific Blue Ribbon School award winner, Technology High School in Newark. Thank you, Principal Reyes. We appreciate it. Thanks again, Steve. I appreciate you. You got it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Think Tank with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 30 years in public broadcasting. Funding has been provided by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, PSEG Foundation, PSENG, New Jersey Sharing Network, The Fidelco Group, New Jersey's Clean Energy Program, Englewood Health, PNC Foundation and by the Adler Aphasia Center. Promotional support provided by bestofnj.com and by R-O-I-N-J. Hi, I'm Abby. You might see me as an ordinary person, but I've been living with a brain injury since 2018. Opportunity Project gave me hope and I've gained confidence through job skill training and helping my family. Despite my challenges with memory, I see a possibility to keep improving. If you have a brain injury, you don't have to face your road to recovery alone. Learn more about Opportunity Project and its partnership with Children's Specialized Hospital.